in and of itself, the ego isn't going to give up any turf whatsoever. So the spiritually committed people in our society are influencing others by virtue of that which they have become. Not by proselytizing, not by preaching, but by, by that which they have become in the presence of a more spiritually evolved person, it is quite difficult to be vulgar and violent and selfish. You start to feel uncomfortable about it. You felt okay with it on the street where it's the style, but as you start to present the same story to more spiritually evolved people, you see them change. At the girls' ranch where I've been for 12 years, I'm gonna to have to resign from there, do like a time, but we see hopeless. I uh, found another doctor to come in. So I've treated, you know, a thousand, thousand teenagers. Highly resistant, savage backgrounds, brutality. Brutality so extreme, you say, this is not possible. This is not possible. And I won't even describe it here. The experiences are so grotesque, so extreme, you say, that's not even possible. I don't want to even hear their history. Social worker starts to tell me, this is her history. I said, I don't want to hear it. I just accept it's catastrophic. And how can anybody recover from that? How can anybody possibly recover from that? It went on for years, for instance. And how can they? Well, I'll tell you, they can't. <laughs> PTSD, due to such savagery, you can't recover. There's no psychological technique. There's no medicine. There's no physical healing. You cannot. So how can you recover from it? Only by the miraculous. Yeah. The power of love. Hmm. So. Each month, the girl comes in and you watch the transformation from ferociously angry, ferociously depressed, assaultive, suicidal. They cut on themselves all the time. They try to overdose, kill themselves. And you watch gradually the, the flower blooming. So you see, that which is possible only by love, only love, could bring it out of that savagery into become a beautiful young person. <laughs>